saying another uh, day, but it's a little different than it has been. Joseph, cloudy out there, feels more like fall. I kind of like it. Today does, you know. yeah. I, I well, I've been getting that feedback on social media as well. Yeah. I think people are enjoying the clouds, something a little bit cooler. Wow. But that uh, weather was really nice. We had three days where we were in the 80s, just so far above average. But it's the type of weather to really pull you outdoors. We're going to have more of that. Today is kind of one of the outliers, and that goes for probably tomorrow morning as well, as we do have some clouds and some fog hanging around. October is one of our foggiest months out of the year. That goes with November and January. So, yes, expect some more clouds coming up, but uh, today we will hopefully kind of thin those clouds out. I mentioned earlier, I think it's going to take maybe a couple more hours for us to see maybe some broken clouds or maybe a little bit of blue sky out there. If you enjoy the kind of the overcast conditions though, maybe now's a good time to go for like an afternoon run after maybe a nice warm lunch. Okay, there's Kalama right there. We have that Columbia River view over the hills. McMinnville down to the south, also cloudy. And that goes for seaside. So that's the common thread right now is just how cloudy it is. And that is inhibiting our temperatures from really warming up today. You can see temperatures right now in the upper 50s. We are a good seven degrees cooler than this time yesterday. Now in the next hour or so, I do expect this to bump up into the 60s with uh, an estimation of right around the lower 70s for our forecast high for today. Here's the view looking out of our Riverview Bank camera there in Vancouver across the way towards the airport. Yeah, it's just a little cloudy out there. We're going to keep some morning clouds in the forecast, but hopefully we'll bring in some sunshine for the afternoon. Still have us dry and warm. And so although today it feels a little bit like fall, we're going to go back to some of that uh, well, abnormal and not seasonable temperature uh, out here. And we're going to see more of those 80s in the forecast. Fall colors are starting to pop. Though. I mentioned that yesterday, and now's a good time to get out there. I just want to point this out. I did a whole article on this uh, yesterday. You can go to our website, coin.com, but a huge difference from this year and last year in October. This is uh, 2022, and this is 2021. We had our last 70-degree day on October 2nd last year. We only had 60s and 50s from that point on. This year, we've had three days in the 80s, and the forecast is calling for 70s and 80s to kind of wrap up the week. So, as I mentioned, it's just going to be a lot different than what we had going on last year. Last year was cool and it was rainy. Well, hey, we've had 73 days now where we've hit at least 80 degrees. Normally, it's somewhere right around 61. So since we're carrying these 80s over into October, that tally just continues to grow. And as I mentioned, we may see about three or four more of those before we start leaning back the other direction. But I promise you that cooler air will be here sooner rather than later. We'll probably wrap up the month with it. Okay, onshore flow going on. You can see the cloud coverage right over the Willamette Valley, extending up to the north as well into areas of Washington. We put this forecast model into play. Still shows the clouds as we go through the day, opening up a bit. Yellow is right around the lower 70s there. Warmer to the east, you can kind of see that orange as far as temperatures go. So you will have more sunshine, warmer temperatures. Overnight tonight, we'll see those clouds build right back on in, meaning more clouds for tomorrow morning. High pressure over the top of us. We uh, were discussing that yesterday. It's going to remain in place. So inversion setting up where temperatures are a little bit warmer above the valley, a little bit cooler down in the valley in the morning specifically. And uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we could break through that. We get some drier air. We just shift that high pressure over a little bit. All right, future cast. Oh, it's clear tonight, but that's going to allow for the clouds to build right back on up. Here's early tomorrow morning. I have a cloudy start to the day with those clouds chipping away in the afternoon. At least that's the plan. That's the plan for today as well. So if it doesn't happen, it's going to be a little bit cooler. I have uh, tweaked our temperature today. I think it's going to be down into the lower 70s. So I have 76 here. Somewhere right around probably 72, 73 for us today. Uh, yeah, but then we're back into the 80s and the mm -hmm. weekend. Jenny, still so nice. Um, you can really create some memories right now. Going to the pumpkin patch in like sandals and shorts and t-shirts. Yes. Like that's something you wouldn't forget. Like look years. at you all sentimental. You can create some memories <laughs> out there. <laughs> weather's good at doing that. The weather's it, good at yeah, doing that. Yeah, no, it, it's good, good photo opportunities. Yeah. Okay, we'll be right back with more news.